What's up guys, it's Solo back in a video on the Secret Channel, Solo 2.0. Now today, we got Wildcard Weekend finally wrapping up. We had two upsets in Wildcard Weekend, which was the Jaguars beating the Chargers. Kind of a small one that game. I kind of figured it would be like a three-point game, but the Jaguars did pull it off. One of, if not the craziest comebacks in NFL playoff history, NFL history, like... That was just insane. Trevor Lawrence, he turned up second half after starting off with four picks. That was just crazy. And then we also had the Giants beat the Vikings. Now, I thought the Vikings were going to win that game going into it by like a field goal. I, I knew it would be close. I knew the Giants could do it, but they did. Giants ended up winning that game. And then we also had the Bengals beat the Ravens. Bills barely beat the Dolphins. I kind of called that. On my backup Twitter, I had tweeted out, I thought the Bills were going to win by like three. They ended up, I think, winning by two or if not. I don't know. It was a close game. Bills beat the Dolphins to move on. And the Cowboys just beat the Bucks to move on. I was pretty sure they were going to do it, and they did. It wasn't even close. The Bucks are not a good team. I've been saying that all year. The Bucks suck. And they, I don't know. They, they, they just didn't have a chance in the playoffs. They shouldn't have been in the playoffs. They were below 500, 8 and 9 going into the playoffs. That team is not good. And the 49ers easily beat the Seahawks. Sub up if you guys have it to this channel, we're on the road to 15K. And also I've been coming up with a lot of crazy video ideas that I've never done before, but still relating to, you know, football and basketball. Those are gonna be coming soon. So look out, maybe tomorrow or the next day, I got a fire video dropping. So turn on post notifications, be on the lookout for that. All right, so as you guys can see right here, we got the playoff predictors playoff bracket. Now I've actually never used this particular layout. You know, if you guys have watched my videos in the past, it always looks a little bit different, but this is kind of cool right here. So you guys can see, we go to the previous matchups down here. Jaguars beat Chargers, blah, blah, blah. You know, I just went over those, so I'm not going to say them again. But we got the new matchups. Bengals, Bills. Now, this is one of the craziest matchups of the entire weekend, in my opinion. Is this the best one? Yeah. I feel like, in my opinion, you guys can let me know if I'm wrong. I think this is going to be the best matchup of the weekend. Bengals, Bills. We also got Jaguars going into Kansas City. They're going to be heavy underdogs. In my, I mean, it's not even my opinion. They are going to be probably... Um, they're probably going to be getting over a touchdown, you know, when it comes to the spread. And then we have in the NFC, the Giants upset the Vikings. Now they got to go into Philly and beat the one-seeded Eagles. And we got Cowboys versus the 49ers. Now, how these videos usually go is, oh, Solo is dumb. He's making some crazy picks. I disagree with them because, I mean, let's be honest. There's going to be some picks that I make that you don't agree with. That's just how it goes in every prediction video. So this is my opinion. You guys can leave yours in the comments below. We can you know, have a little debate, but I'm going to tell you right now, my picks are going to be a little bit different. They're not going to be straight chalk. I'm not taking the top seeds every single game. I'm going to start off Bengals Bills, three seed versus the two seed going into Buffalo. Can the Bengals do it? Can Joe Burrow get it done? You know, he was just in the Super Bowl last year and this is my hot picker here. They are four point underdogs, but I'm gonna be moving on the Bengals, the Cincinnati Bengals to the AFC Championship where they, you know, they're gonna upset the Bills in the division round in my opinion. Obviously that's a hot take, so easily they can lose that game. The Bills are the favorite team, but the thing about the Bills, I think they're a little overrated. I think Josh Allen, yes, he's a top quarterback in the league, but people act like he's like God. You know what I mean? And bro, he throws a lot of interceptions, especially in the red zone. And I think that that is going to kill them. Now, if he doesn't, let's say Josh Allen finishes the game, zero interceptions. I think the Bills win. But due to that fact that he throws a lot of interceptions and I don't know, I feel like a lot of the casual fans don't really notice it. Yes, of course, the Bills are favorite and there's going to be a lot of experts that pick the Bills, but that's just my take on it. That's my pick. That's my that's my hot take right there. Bengals going to the AFC Championship. Now, Jaguars Chiefs. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell by my voice, but I'm sick. I've been sick like three different times in the last like 30 days. I don't know how that's possible. There might be something serious going on with me, but we're fighting through it. I got to get these videos out. Of course, I'm taking care of myself. Like people are going to say, oh, take care of yourself first. But OK, that's 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 beside the point. I'm doing that and we're getting this video out. So Chiefs Jaguars. One versus a four. A lot of people are taking the Jaguars. A lot of people like the Jaguars in this game. You know, they think with the uh, momentum, they can get it done. But the Chiefs, just a better team. And I mean, I feel like everyone's rooting for Jacksonville this weekend. I just, I, I really think that everyone's on Jacksonville's side because we're just rooting for the underdog at this point. The Chiefs, they've been here a lot of times the last couple of years and uh, everyone's rooting for Jacksonville, but I can't do it. Chiefs going to the AFC Championship and take on Cincinnati. All right, so I actually just checked. The Bengals are actually five point underdogs. I don't get that. I think they should be three and a half at the most, three and a half, maybe two and a half is probably more reasonable. 
five is kind of crazy to me. And the Chiefs, they are, I think it said eight and a half, if not eight. I think they're the Chiefs are eight and a half point favorites over the Jaguars, which I think that's a solid line. I would probably take the Jaguars to cover the spread there. And I think Bengals win and cover the spread. Moving over to the NFC, we have Eagles and we have Giants. By the way, in the AFC, I think both of these games are going to be kind of close. Bengals, Bills, probably a field goal game. Jaguars, Chiefs. Chiefs might win by like six. I think Jaguars cover that spread though. Eagles, Giants. Giants will play good. Danny Dimes threw for over 300 passing yards, 75 rushing yards, if I do recall correctly. But they're going to Philly. They're going to play Jalen Hurts, Devonta Smith, AJ Brown. That O line is crazy. Their defense is crazy. This is probably the most complete team in football. In fact, I think it is. I think it is. They have the home field advantage. You know the Philly fans are going to be going crazy. Danny Dimes, does he have enough experience for it? Is he ready? I know he's going to be studying. You know, I saw I saw a video of him on the plane already studying right after their win over the Vikings. But I just think this Philly team is going to be too much. The Giants, should they be in the playoffs? I mean, I guess they deserve it. I guess they deserve it. They're a solid team. So, I mean, yeah, they, they, get, they deserve it. But against Philly, I don't see it. Some people are telling me they could see the Giants doing it. I don't really see it happening. I, In fact, I think the Eagles are going to blow them out. I think the Eagles are going to blow out the Giants. Let me check the spread. It's seven and a half. So, you know, I think the Eagles honestly cover that spread. And I think they win the game. I think the Eagles are probably going to win by two scores if I had to guess. Eagles are just a powerhouse. Their defense is crazy. Their offense is crazy. Eagles moving on to the NFC Championship. Now we got the Cowboys. And we have the 49ers. This is actually one of the best games of the weekend. You know, they're all going to be pretty good. Um, I like the Bengals Bills game the most, but Cowboys 49ers, man, this is gonna be a tough game. I knew the Cowboys would beat the Bucks. Cowboys are a great team. 49ers, though, probably a better team. Now, the main problem here, Brock Purdy. Everyone's gonna talk about him. Mr. Irrelevant. Last pick of the draft, Brock Purdy. Can he get it done? I think he can. I think Brock Purdy can get it done. We're gonna have to see. If Dak just absolutely outplays Brock Purdy, the Cowboys are gonna win. You know, the defense are going to do their thing. In fact, this is probably going to be a lower scoring game. Uh, Cowboys 49ers. The defense is on both of these teams. Very good. It's probably going to be a low scoring game. Now, if Dak comes out, throws for four touchdowns, no picks, Cowboys are probably going to win this game. But if Brock Purdy comes out and even just plays solid, like I'm talking, you know, 250 passing yards, two touchdowns, no picks. I think the 49ers win this game. I think the better team, Brock Purdy's just got to play solid. He just... Got to limit the turnovers, limit mistakes. I think 49ers are going to win this game. Now, let's go over to the AFC. AFC Championship. Um, Is this at a neutral site? I don't think so, but it might be. Because I remember there were some weird playoff implications. Whatever, I'm not sure. But we have Bengals versus Chiefs AFC Championship. The Chiefs will be favored in this game. I mean, the Bills, they're favored by five. So, Chiefs, they'll probably be favored by six. Or, you know, something in that ballpark. But, this is my crazy picker here. This is my crazy pick. I'm saying it now on January 17th. I've been saying it even a week ago, weeks ago. I got a gut feeling. I have a gut feeling that the Bengals are not only going to beat the Bills, but they're also going to beat the Chiefs. Joe Burrow is going to get it done. And, you know, he did it last year. And I think he does it again. I think he goes back to the Super Bowl, runs through the AFC in what is probably one of the toughest paths in the entire playoffs, first beating the Ravens. I mean, that was kind of easy because they because Lamar Jackson was out, but then they beat the Bills, then they play the Chiefs, then they're probably going to have to play, you know, either the 49ers or Eagles in the Super Bowl. Just such a tough path, but I think the Bengals do beat the Chiefs and get to the Super Bowl. Now, not a lot of science behind this pick. You know what I'm saying? It's more of a gut feeling. It's more of a gut feeling. You know, if I were to look more at the numbers, I'd probably go Chiefs. And all year I've had the Chiefs. So those are my two favorites. Bengals, Chiefs, and the AFC. Bills, they could prove me wrong. They could. That's my third team by far. But Bengals, Chiefs, 1-2. I got Bengals in the Super Bowl. Now we got the NFC Championship. San Francisco 49ers, two-seeded. Brock Purdy heading into Philadelphia to take on the Eagles. Now... These are probably the two most complete teams in football, in my opinion. It's it's the thing that's tough. Again, 49ers have Brock Purdy as their quarterback. If they had any more, you know, of a solid quarterback, then you could easily say that statement I said before with the two most complete teams. But Brock Purdy's been solid. You can't hate on him. He's been solid. He's been getting the job done. 49ers Eagles. 
I'm going Eagles. It's just something about this team. The play. I mean, see, the thing is, I'm going to say the playmaking ability, but you could just easily say that about the 49ers with McCaffrey, Kittle, Debo, Samuel, Ayuk, all those guys. But I don't know. Jalen Hurts, AJ Brown, Devonta Smith, Miles Sanders. That, I, I don't know. I just, I like them a little bit more than the 49ers. And maybe it is because of the quarterback. Maybe it's because they have Jalen Hurts and the 49ers have Brock Purdy. Both defenses are great, insane defenses. This would be a dogfight, great game right here. These would be two great conference championships. I mean, even if you put the Bills in here, that would be a great one too. But man, these are going to be great conference championships. I have the Bengals taking on the Eagles in the Super Bowl. But who do I have winning? Who do I have winning? Like I said before, I had a gut feeling. Bengals going to beat the Bills. Bengals going to beat the Chiefs. Does my gut feeling continue? And do I have the Bengals winning the Super Bowl? I'll give you guys a few seconds to, to think, you know, what I'm about to do here. I just, you know, make it a little more interesting. But wow. I'm, I'm really picking based on my gut. Of course, I've been watching all year, so all of that factors into it. But when it comes to stuff like this, upsets happen, things happen. I'm letting my gut decide and I'm running with it. The winner of the 2023 Super Bowl Cincinnati Bengals versus Philadelphia Eagles is going to be the Philadelphia Eagles. I, I think the Eagles are going to win it this year. I think they do. I, their defense is crazy. Jalen Hurts, AJ Brown, I want this like I said, Miles Sanders. That offensive line is great. Their defense is. I don't. Is the, I think the defense might be the best part about the team, but their offense is just so good. Ah, this is tough, man. It's so tough because there's so many capable teams of winning it. Like, let's 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 look at the division around, right? Because those are the teams that are still in. You know, everything above it is kind of just guessing. Looking at the division around, the Bengals they can win it all. The Bills they can win it all. The Jaguars, probably not ready yet. If we're going to be honest, they got to win one, two, three more games from the Super Bowl. I don't I don't see that happening. Um, so Jaguars, I don't see it. They could prove me wrong, but I don't see it. So we got Bengals, Bills. That's two. Chiefs could win it all. That's three. NFC, Giants, they're probably not ready. They probably can't do it. But then we got the Eagles, Cowboys, and 49ers. So that's six out of the eight teams still in that are fully capable of winning it all. And it's just tough, man. It's tough to make picks like this. Let me know who you guys have winning it all, let alone let me know who you have in the Super Bowl. I'd like to know your Super Bowl matchup predictions. But, wow. I have Eagles over Bengals. Again, I could easily see Eagles over Chiefs. Um, or even Chiefs over Eagles, Chiefs over 49ers. Regardless... We're going to have a fire Super Bowl. We're going to have a fire NFL playoffs. The wild card round was fire. Let me know your thoughts and your comments and your predictions in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, renew, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.